The Miller experiment was a tremendous advance because it was the first time somebody stopped talking and actually went in the lab and tried to do something. It created a lot of excitement but it's been 75 years and we haven't gone very far. I say this all the time, man, I am so glad you said it before I did. And this is a guy who worked with Stanley Miller. We may be able to approach the target a little bit more, but what happens is the target moves much further away from us because we learn the complexity of what is in a cell. The amount of discoveries in biochemistry that have happened since the Miller-Urey experiment changes the game. It's so much more complex than the target they had back in mind back then. Mm -hmm. The structure of DNA was announced right about the same time. year yeah, right about that time. As, as the Stanley Miller, 1953. The target that Stanley had when he started his experiment, they didn't even know what DNA was. And that's how juvenile the field of biochemistry was. It's grown up a lot. And with each new discovery, the target for abiogenesis gets further away.